And good evening, good morning, or whatever you, that's right, you are watching this. This is my movie review of Warm Bodies, the film, not the book. Now this, uh, before I even get to Warm Bodies, I want to talk about the trailers I saw for the, uh, before the movie started. The first one was Jack the Giant Slayer, which, ironically enough, stars Nicholas Holt, who also played in Warm Bodies, so... It, very interesting. By the way, Nicholas also will, played Hank McCoy slash Beast in X-Men First Class, if anybody remembers that. And he will also be in X-Men Days of the Future Past, which I have no idea what that's about. Now, I did like the trailer for Jack the Giant Slayer, so hopefully, hopefully, it's a good movie. I probably will be seeing that, by the way. That comes out March 1st, which ain't too far away from now. Now, one of the other trailers I saw, I mean, that was interesting, was a new buddy cop film. Mm, excuse me. So through. <laughs> Starring Melissa McCarthy. Um... As you already know, she's already got one film out, um, Identity Theft. She's also going to be in the new buddy cop film, The Heat, which also stars Sandra Bullock, which comes out June 28th, 2013. The film takes place in Boston. It's pretty much a buddy cop film, <coughs> um, so it, should, it does look interesting. Hopefully... And yeah, that one's pretty much going to be a buddy cop film for the ladies. So if you have a girlfriend, you'll pro she'll probably enjoy it. And you'll enjoy it because of the action and comedy. Um, now there were three other trailers. One starring Jim Carrey in his new magic film, which I think is going to be utterly retarded. Just because it just looks like a stupid premise to me. The second one... Which was probably my favorite. Would they even show any clips? It was pretty much just Wolverine, you know, doing his pose with the claws. You know, apparently there's a Wolverine 2 coming out later this year. And the other one was, what was the other one? I'm trying to remember. The other one was Iron Man 3. Yeah, yeah that's what it was. Iron Man 3. So, the only one, well, for more good, but the only one that I was disappointed with was the magic film. Now let's talk about Warm Bodies, which is a zombie romantic comedy. The, pretty much the story is, it's a relationship between Julie, a young woman, and or a zombie, and how the eventual romance develops throughout the film. The movie is noted for displaying human characteristics in zombie characters and being told from a zombie point of view. Which is very well done. I love the way they did the story for this. It's told from the zombie's point of view, which is very well done. Now, I don't want to spoil it too much. <clears throat> now, I mean, you pretty much, you know, zombie love film, you know what's going on. But it does have some good laughs, and the music is pretty good. A lot of 80s music. You know, so if you're definitely going to love that. um. Now, of course, you know, you didn't see him too much in the film. John Malkovich, my God, he played, he, he, he knows what he does best. He plays the insane dad. You know, and that's what I love about him. He's insane. Now, I will say that there are two kinds of zombies. You have normal zombies and bonies who will pretty much eat anything. A.K.A. the bonies are the Paris Hiltons of the zombie organization. Now, it is very well done. And, and you know, unfortunately, here's the problem. And this is the one thing I will say that I usually do not enjoy. If it's based on a book, I normally don't want to see it but in this case I wanted to because it uh, it's very interesting and it was very well done um now there is a prequel believe it or not for the uh, warm bodies book maybe now maybe we might see a Now there should be. Now there might even be a sequel to the film. Who knows? If there is, great. If there's not, I would be a little bit disappointed. 
Um, ironically enough, it did. Um, it was released January 31st, so... And ironically enough, Warm Bodies did win... Uh, won the weekend opening box office, despite competing with that weekend's Super Bowl. I think the only reason it won was because of the fact of, um... You know, a lot of people maybe didn't want to... I know there's some people who didn't want to watch the Super Bowl because, you know, who their team wasn't in it, whatever. You know, usually the movies you don't expect to win do well. But this is a very good film. You know, it's got comedy. Of course, a zombie, if you're a zombie fan like me, you're going to love the film. And it does have a little bit of romance. And it very well done. You know, I actually sat through it and I enjoyed all of it. I didn't not even get up to leave like I usually do to usually go... Uh, you know, we'll fill up a drink or get more popcorn, which I didn't even need to do that this time around. Um, definitely well good cast. Whoever picked the cast did a very good job on it. Um, and it is a great movie. I don't want to spoil the, you know, the the big ending, you know, any, well, not big ending, because if you read the book, hey, you know the ending. It's kind of like with King Kong, in a way, with this film. You already know, you, if you read the book for Warm Bodies, you know the ending, or in the case of King Kong... You already know the fucking ending. Pretty much. Um, now, I will say, though, if you go by yourself, yeah, you probably... You will still enjoy it, but not as much if you went with a girl. So, I would recommend you take a girl with you. Boy, I don't have that option. I'm single. I'm a one-man band. As Heath Slater would say. Now, at the end of the day, this is a very good film. I mean, the budget was only thirty million, and it already and its box office is already was over forty five million dollars, and it's ninety seven minutes long, so it's a uh, not bad. Uh, it came out February first in the United States. I should I should correct myself. I do apologize, but it came out in other places at different times. Uh, so at the end of the day, Warm Bodies, which is a I give it a four out of five. Probably one of my favorite films of the year so far. Will probably be one I will be buying on Blu-ray for me. Now, of course, speaking of Blu-ray, I am picking up later later this weekend the Blu-ray version of Silent Hill, the one I reviewed a few months ago. I wonder what. Uh, hopefully, the Blu-ray version will be good. Hopefully, added scenes or whatever. So, expect a review of that and Judge Dr the Dread remake. Cause I'm trying to get some things done on that so it doesn't so I don't screw it up by the way the judge the reboot for that the reboot week rehashing whatever of dread that's going to contain spoilers just as a heads up so if you have not seen it yet I'd recommend not watching that video when I upload it but at the end of the day warm bodies gets a four out of five very good done with zombie romantic film it has comedy now I'm gonna be honest if you take kids to see this you're an idiot okay there is some blood and I would not recommend this for children. Alright? So, go see Warm Bodies this weekend if you have nothing else to do. So, until next time, when you'll of course see me later this weekend for my Tekken 3 review, where I feature Tekken 3, of course, duh. And a few, maybe a few other surprise videos as well. So, until then, this is the DOUG saying peace out and have a great weekend. Woo! Oh, brain.